so this question if you do it actually using the if you know the lcm method and you follow lcm method for this question i think calculations are very very easier easy to when you to do it using that method you can do the normal unitary method that we use but i feel that had lot of fractions and uh, lcms to take and all that so if you do it with lcm method it's very very easy a and b always work on alternate dates but none of them work on saturday or sunday working alone a and b can finish the work in 20 days and 30 days respectively if the work was started by a on a monday then on which day will the work be finished so a alone can do a work in 20 days and b alone can do the work in 30 days so what is the lcm of 20 and 30 lcm of 20 and 30 is 60 now what can i say so if the total units of work is 60 i can say that a in one day how much work will a do a will do 60 divided by 20 because a is totally taking 20 days to finish the work so a in one day will do 60 divided by 20 or 3 units of work similarly b in one day how much work will b do 60 divided by 30 because b is totally taking 30 days to finish the work and in this 30 days uh, b has to complete 60 units so in one day b will do 2 units of work now for the first week what is happening see you week means you have monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday now saturday sunday these two people are not working so for the first week who is starting the work a is starting the work so on the first day a will finish 3 units on the second day b will finish 2 units on the third day again a will work a will do 3 units fourth day b will work 2 units fifth day a will work Three units. Now, when it comes to the second week, who will start the work? Because here A completed, here B will start. They are working alternately, right? So here it will be two, three, two, three, two. So in the first week, the total units of work that is completed is how much? Three plus three plus three, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, or thirteen units of work is completed in the first week. How many units of work is completed in the second week? Two plus two plus two is six. Six plus three, nine. Nine plus three, twelve. 12 units of work is completed in the second week so totally at the end of the second week 25 units of work is completed see totally how many units of work should i should we complete they have to totally complete 60 units so every two weeks 25 units will get completed because this cycle will keep repeating right this 3 2 3 2 3 and 2 3 2 3 2 the cycle will keep repeating so in the uh, in the first two weeks 25 units will be completed so i can say at the end of the fourth week 25 into 2 or 50 units will be completed so at the end of the fourth week 50 unit is completed now in the fifth week how will the work pattern start again the cycle would have finished so the next cycle should start with a again so in the fifth week a will do 3 units followed by b 2 a 3 B two. Now remember, totally there were sixty units out of which fifty units has been completed. So remaining how many units are there to complete? Ten units are there to complete. In this ten units, A does three unit, then B does two unit. So five units is completed here itself. Then again A does three unit, B does two unit. Again five unit is completed, or the ten units is completed at the end of this day, right? That is a Thursday. So the work will be completed on which day? On a Thursday. and who will complete it it will be completed by b last day the person who is working will be b because b will be doing b will be the one who is doing two units okay so do it using this way it is far more easier with the calculations